Hello everyone, welcome back. Right, hopefully video two of the day. Uh, as some of you may know, I had a package from Wes, Wes Picks the other day. Uh, he sent me this lovely pick. Um, and some challenge locks. Um, and it was this Ruswin Lepton. Uh, apparently quite a few people had failed on this one, um, a couple of people have previously picked it, what a nightmare that was, probably took me an hour to get that open, um, I've not since been able to repeat it, so certainly won't be able to get that on camera, it's going to be a long one. Um, we had Um What by Fast Charlie, now I must apologise to Fast Charlie. When I done the package opening, I said it was by Fat Charlie, didn't read it properly. There's a good lock, little Schlage cylinder. I did get an open lock on that off camera. And we have, you want to play a game by, is that Chinook? Chinook, member of the French lock picking forum. This is what we're going to have a go at today. I did have one quick open of it, I've not gutted it. So let's have a little, see if it's going to open for me. I'm seriously rusty with picking. My hands are so bad from work and stuff like that. Let's stop making excuses later. Let's see if it'll open up for us. I'll try and keep my fat fingers out of the way for you. Right. Nothing on one or two. Click out of three, four. A little bit of a false set there. Lost the false set. Give it back. It's only a very slight one. case of the pick being stuck but ended up zipping a couple to get back in the bottom false set. I'll take it. <laughs> a little bit deeper false set there now. Seriously light tension on this, and basically just holding ten tension wrenching. Mm, well, that's a very deep false set now. I see that. Come on, where's that spool? I didn't even hear a click at the end then, I guess I'll just release something as, uh, as it went around. Show you the key working, did I show you it working before? Very smooth. Right, shut up Leighton, let's get it open and see what's inside. seem to think about when you're buying stuff, or I don't anyway. There we go, that's quite 
pull it softly. Okay. In. Here's one important shim. Oh, there's a bit of work going on in, in here. Can you see that? already see threading, counter milling and some grooves cut in it. Let's dump these out, I'll show you afterwards. One is like a torpedo to keep in, two serrated, three is beveled edge, another serrated, different kind of serrated, and a bit of a spool, spool serrated, all sorts on that one. Lovely pins. So back to the core. We have threading in six with those grooves. Threading in five, counter milling and the grooves. Threading again, that's well been worked on. Counter mill again and the grooves. And threading in one. So might go into that. Oh, where's the shim going? Let's see what we have in here. A very sharp spool that is. That explains a lot. Copper spring. It's a nice looking pin. Very sharp top again. We'll show you these better in a minute. Steel spring this time. Another lovely one is put some effort into this. Some deep serrations with reduced diameter at the top. Smaller spring. So the little spring, it's hardly popped up at all. Get a better grip on that. That's a very reduced diameter at the top. Very sharp. So a beveled spool. See a tiny little spring. back now. A deep spool this time. You'll have to excuse my puppy dreaming if you can hear that. Just got a new puppy just the other day. That's three dogs now. Yes, we're a glutton for punishment. Nice steel spring. And five is a heavily serrated T-pin by the looks of that. Very nice indeed. Well, whoever Sinok is, Chinook. I don't know, I'm absolutely butchering that name. I do apologize. It does some fine work. See if we can see anything going on in the core. Don't have a little light, but no, they're all 
standard in the Bible, sorry. Not the court. Right, let's try and zoom you in. Sort of a torpedo cupid in one. Everything's been worked on apart from that one, I think. That's just your beveled edge top, so it oversets easily. Lovely serrations there. I like that keeping, that's very nice. Nice overset trap there. With that above it, definitely good trap. I think I was quite lucky with this one. Well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I shall be back soon. I may even squeeze another video in today. Yeah. Thanks all. See you soon.